so good evening good morning everyone so guys just see this one uh, in the previous session uh, we have discussed uh, more about uh, your file permissions and all right when i told that uh, today's session is going to be this is the last command of uh, i would say last and most important command of your uh, linux operating system which is find command and locate command so see each and everything very very carefully friends uh, to join my live online classes uh, just go to google and type abhishek roshan so once you type this one uh, you can see the topmost website here that uh, https uh, colon slash slash www.abhishekroshan.com this is my uh, legitimate and authentic website uh, you can just click on this one and uh, even you can download the android app also for your mobile devices so here you just need to go to the courses and here you will find out all my live upcoming classes and ongoing classes my friends so as of now the ongoing classes are batch 2 and batch 3 is ongoing so once these two batches will be finished so uh, the upcoming classes uh, that is 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp is also available you can join this batch and even if you want to join uh, 100 plus days of it corporate boot camp that is batch 4 right so you can jo join now only uh, the batch is going to start from july okay and if you only wants to go for a aws corporate boot camp then you can join this 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp guys so uh, yeah find command uh, how it is different from locate command guys so basically find command is used to find the files or a directory path uh, basically okay and it is exactly like the find option which you are going to get in your windows operating system right so when you go to your windows operating system you are going to search something a file or something right so you can go ahead and find it like this correct right? this is the best possible so same way find command is one of the most powerful utility or the command in your uh, linux operating system though we have a locate command but locate command has some restriction okay so if i'll take a example over here okay let's go to the topmost level ls hyphen ltrh okay uh, let's go to this batch uh, 9 pm okay let's clear this one uh, ls hyphen ltrh okay so if i have to find this server.xml file okay so it's easy if you want to find a normal file like server.xml correct you are only looking for a file which is having the name server.xml so you should be able to find it and it's going to tell you okay yeah this is the path right yes or no guys correct so this is the path so this is why i told you just now that find command is used to find the files or a directory right correct basically find a files or a directory path so you are not only finding the file okay you are also finding the path of that file and a directory okay so locate command also works same way guys okay but the difference between find command and a locate command is that with find command you are going to get multiple options but with locate command the limitation is that you so suppose this server dot xml okay has somebody access 20 minutes before how would i come to know okay this server dot xml is access 20 minutes before or this is access 10 days before or like this there are logs file will be there okay if i come over here in the var okay just go to var log ls hyphen ltrh okay here you see this is not only one log correct if you see any of these logs okay or we can take it like this dnf log okay so dnf dot rpm log dnf dot log is there right so in log also multiple iteration will be there right when you see like log 1 log 2 there will be message there will be different logs will be there like splunk log the latest splunk log it's going to be splunk log uh, dot log the previous log it's going because we have uh basically did a iteration of this one like suppose the after 10 mb or 20 mb the logs will be re means it will be uh start a new series basically 
right so if it is like log zero is one second guys so just try to understand here like suppose this is boot dot log is there so after 10 mb this boot dot log will become boot log one dot log one right so after like this it will be accumulated back to back right so there will be logs so in that case when you have to find a logs which is like two days older three days older right and the log name is also same boot correct so in that case locate command is not going to work guys understanding my point so the answer is very simple for this one is that with the find command it comes with some syntax find command right where to find mean under root directory or you want to find in a specific location option and then the file name understanding my point guys okay so if you come and if you see over here also let's clear this one right and just do a find or you just do a man find over here correct so you can see clearly search for a file of a directory hierarchy basically right but this is more important for you correct what is the system uh, what is the syntax for this one so the syntax is more important for you okay for the find command that for find command what options you can use it multiple options you can use it with the find command right like your a time m time right i num links size uid gid with these options you can find a file okay if i am looking for a file for example guys i am telling you okay suppose this is a file okay let's come uh, to this directory right uh, back to batch correct right so there are multiple file 3 file 4 file 5 5 6 file 7 5 8 is there okay but i am looking for a file which is having specific inode number understanding my point guys like i am looking for a file ls hyphen ls hyphen li correct i am looking for a file which is having a specific inode number then how i want to find a file with the inode number correct so this is why if i have to find a file with the name fine the file name it's going to be server.xml i am looking for that option if i have to find a file with the type suppose this file is a block file or a character file right it's a regular file or a directory then i can use a type if i have to find a file which is specific to a user suppose this file is owned by root user but i want to find a file which is owned by sabrish i want to find a file which is owned by apache tomcat i want to find a file if you go to slash etc pass wd you will come to know there are many users right correct so i want to find a file with the username basically then what i am going to do in that case right i want to find a file with the group name right so there are some files which is group name so if you do cat slash etc group is there right correct there are group is there right tcp tcp dump group is there crony group is there sssd group is there so like this there will be hr group will be there finance group will be there like different groups will be there so like this if you have to find a file okay so you cannot find simply go ahead and find it right so for that you need to use the options and that is what you need the syntax called find commands where to find means this this forward slash it's telling where to find you have to provide the path you have to provide the option means you are searching for the like either whether it's a type hyphen type whether for a, a specific user whether for a group or whether for a name and you have to give the file name understanding my point guys what is the purpose of find command just now i have told you if you have to find a file or a directory with its path okay means okay. you you also want the file and also you want to know where is that file or a directory now the twist is that why we should not use locate command the problem with locate command is that it doesn't comes with options 
find commands comes with options now variety is there okay i want to find a file which is owned by sabrish i want to find a file which is owned by adiba right i want to find a file which is owned by sagar this is normal user now i want to find a file which is owned by apache apache is also a user when you going to install your application so that user will be get stored in slash etc pass wd file correct so i want to find a file with a specific group wise i want to find a file which is 45 days before created i want to find a file which is 30 minutes before accessed means who access suppose somebody has made some changes sabrish okay in your file mm. how would you come to know that somebody has made some changes 30 suppose that guy is not telling you correct system he can do anything correct how you are going mm -hmm. to find it so for that you have to use find command suppose i want to find a file not with the uh, file name but i know its inode number normally this find command is where it is very effective where it is very handy it's in case of when you have to zip some file when you have to compress your logs okay when you have to delete some old files so and this is in production environment i have done it many times why because when your logs is full okay immediately your server is you will see system uptime is because your disk is full right suddenly you are start getting yeah. monitoring alerts you will get monitoring alerts correct so what you will do in that case so they will ask you go and find it why we are getting monitoring alerts so what is your responsibility first you run df-h command okay you come here you run a df-h command correct okay yes. i see i see there is a directory which is mounted okay on some partition okay so in that one i can see that okay fine this directory is almost 90% so it crosses the threshold limit correct so when i get inside the directory suppose if i get inside this directory okay if i do ls hyphen ltrh so now i find there are so many logs there is a log of almost more than 30 gb so what you are going to do in that case sabrish so you have to find and in that also you have multiple extensions somewhere .xml will be there somewhere .txt will be there somewhere .logs will be there right yeah and now you have to compress only those files which is dot logs so if you have to compress only those file which is having the extension dot logs there this find command is very very effective so just see one by one uh, i'll execute first i'll execute the normal way okay then i'll take you what in production environment we execute okay so let me let me clear this one guys see here i have mentioned if you see i uh, just uh, hyphen name okay like this correct if you have to find a file with the hyphen name correct so what should be the syntax in this case suppose i want to find a file server.xml okay so find hyphen name right before this i said the syntax is that you have to give the path where you are finding i am finding i am not giving a specific i don't know where it is exactly so this is why i have given the entire topmost level forward slash is the top, this i have already explained in architecture of file system and hierarchy if you remember properly which is the topmost level this is the topmost level so i wanted to find that is the and apart if i have given the path where i am finding now i want to find the file with the name correct what is the file name server.xml did it give me the path did i receive the path guys yes so this is the path and this is the file where it is stored right server.xml is where okay if i have to find a file okay what is that file name sshd.config okay find a file okay with the name sshd.config okay enter okay 
so the uh, i have given the wrong syntax here name okay the name is basically this okay so if you are confused with this also so you can do it like this also okay sshd star find must precede uh, precede uh, expression sshd underscore config correct so that this i'll explain okay don't worry about this one okay underscore right config dot d correct so we have received this path correct guys right so if i have to find a file where i know the name correct just now i got confused correct i i i don't know the name basically i made a mistake over here so this is also a, a good answer right where you don't know the name then what you are going to do in that case i know the i know number of this file okay ls hyphen li correct i know the i know number of this file correct what is the i node number of this file so this is one i node number of uh, suppose this file only it's it's because what it's doing is basically uh, it's giving for this file okay so this is one i node number so if you want to find a file with the i node number that also we can do with the find command guys if you want to find a file with the type correct what type of a file it is that also we can suppose if i am finding a file okay topmost level hyphen i node okay like this we need to give correct and then the file name uh, sorry i node number okay suppose you take this only okay okay so now you can see clearly i have tried to find a file with the i node number okay so the syntax is i num correct that is what the syntax is over here also right i num i have given i node by mistake correct if you want to find a file with the i node number okay you can find the file with the i node number for searching for a particular type of file then you can use hyphen type if you are searching for a file with the user you can search that file with that user you are searching for a file with the group you can search with that one understand my point guys are you guys understanding this one or not fine uh, guys i'm ending up the session here only thank you for staying connected with me let's connect again tomorrow for uh, remaining topics till then just take care of yourself your loved one bye bye and jai hind